exposing the narcissist in the love bombing phase. Revealing their true objectionable nature while they are trying to seduce you. Uncovering who they really are underneath the mask before they are able to cause serious damage to your life. I understand that most of you don't find this information until the devaluation or discard phase. And while it's never too late to use this information to change your life, I think we can all agree that it is better to be armed with this information before we get too involved with these types of people. The information safeguards us from danger or harm and helps us to make the right decisions to prevent any future complications. Unfortunately, this information isn't always there when we might need it the most. But we can now use it to prevent us from being involved with any narcissist in the future. And I believe that this video will help you to do that. Exposing the narcissist while they are trying to seduce you. While they are captivating your attention and, in and interest. And trying to lure you into the relationship to secure you as their next source of supply. Many people might assume that this is quite an advanced topic to discuss because so many people seem to be fooled in, into the love bombing phase. But it is actually very simple. However, we don't see it because as codependents or empaths, we have a tendency to overlook the red flags. We base our value off what we can give to someone due to our childhood conditioning. Because we were never taught to nurture our own inherent value. We were taught that our value comes from how we, how we perform, what we can do for someone or what we have. So even when the narcissist is behaving in a way that might be considered unfair or inappropriate, we tend to overlook it. We don't want to believe that what we're seeing is true. We want to believe that they're good people. So that we can continue supplying them with what they need. Because that then makes us feel as though we're worth something. The narcissist takes advantage of this. They gravitate towards people who have a lot to give. Whether it's time, energy, attention, love or money. Narcissists don't have anything to give. They are inadequate. So they typically target people who have an abundance of whatever they are deficient in. People who are empathic or compassionate. Because those are the kinds of people who are most likely to give them what they need. When they target you, they already expect you to give them what they need. If they didn't expect you to do that, 
they wouldn't have targeted you in the first place. They would have been engaging with someone else. But they specifically chose you because you have an abundance of whatever they're looking for. And they expect and believe that you will provide it to them. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about themselves. They only care about their own interests and needs. Regardless of how it affects you. Regardless of what you need. They targeted you to, to fulfill their own needs. Not to give anything to you. They never had any real appreciation or respect for you. That was all an act so that they could get what they wanted from you. But during the love bombing phase, they can be very good actors. Because they know they have to act a certain way to keep you around. They know you're not going to want to be around someone who only cares about themselves. So they create an illusion as though they're giving something to you. They create an illusion of love or happiness as though you're having a good time. But it's all fake. It's very superficial. It lacks any real purpose or meaning. Because they're just feeding back to you whatever you want to hear. Whatever you want to see. You're not really getting to know them. And they will keep giving you this fake, kind, caring character as long as you keep giving them what they want. Once you identify what it is they were looking for when they targeted you and you take that away then you will see who you're really dealing with. Then you will be able to expose the narcissist in the love bombing phase. Identify the reason why they targeted you. What were they looking for? Someone with money, power or physical attractiveness? Someone to provide them with attention, admiration or sex? Whatever it was, take it away. Tell them no and watch how they react to you. Tell them you need some time to yourself. Tell them you think the relationship is moving too fast. Narcissists want to secure you as quick as they possibly can. If they see an opportunity to marry you in a few weeks or months, they will do it. They have to secure a constant supply of whatever it is they targeted you for. And most often, they are looking for attention and admiration. They are looking for stability and security. They cannot be alone. And they cannot allow you to have a separate life of your own. Because they always need you there to provide something to them. 
when you try to do things on your own or you need some space they see it as though it's a waste of your time and, it and energy as though your attention should only be on them If you want to expose the narcissist in the love bombing phase, tell them no. Tell them that you don't want to do something. Tell them that you don't agree with what they're saying. Tell them that you need some time to yourself. A normal, emotionally healthy person will respect your boundaries. They will understand that you have your own interests. You have your own needs. But narcissists are very insecure. Which makes it impossible for them to let anything go. They always have this obsessive need for control. If you say no to them, they will often respond with passive aggression or they will give you the silent treatment. When you say no to the narcissist, you are invalidating their false self and the illusion that they are trying to portray. It may even cause a narcissistic injury and then they can become very angry. They may verbally abuse you or even physically attack you because in their minds it's an insult. In their minds you're rejecting them. They can't understand that you are a separate person with your own interests or needs because they see you as an object that exists to serve them and they have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they have a right to your time energy and attention whenever they want it regardless of what you want or how it affects you and that's why they targeted you they targeted you because they wanted to make full use of and derive benefit from you they wanted to take advantage of you and they didn't care if it was right or wrong all they really cared about was getting what they want and they knew they were not going to get it by playing fair. They knew they had to put on an act. They knew they had to trick you. It was never genuine. They didn't love you. They didn't care about you. All they really loved and cared about was what they were taking from you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissistforcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.